Today, we're building automated data analysis and visualization workflows using NA10 and Cloud Skills. Here's what that looks like. Every single visualization you see is generated automatically from automated data analysis of raw CSV files. No Python coding, no Excel formulas. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add powerful data analysis and visualization engines directly in your NA10 automation workflows using Cloud Skills. Let's see this in action with a live demo. All right, so we're going to start with our data set of North American energy future pricing. So there's a lot of data here on companies, as well as the different parameters for this data set. And then we're going to start our NA10 workflow. So in this NA10 workflow, we're going to start a form. This form, we're going to choose the CSV file. And we're going to select our North American data set. And we're going to open that and submit it. So it's going to upload to Claude, and then the Claude data analysis engine and visualization engine will process this. So we'll pause for a couple of minutes while it does this. All right, now it's finished the uh, data analysis and visualization. Now we're going to extract from what Claude has uh, given us in terms of the skill. And then we're going to download the visualization, and then we're going to then send a message to my Gmail. So in my Gmail, I have a detailed analysis of the data set that has a data set overview, core insights, the financial metrics that it's uh, gotten through the analysis, commodity exposure profile, seven top opportunities, major findings, strategic implications, investment positioning recommendations, visualization insight, as well as creating a nice visualization of the data set. So let's do a high level fly through first before we go into the details. So at the top level, we have a form submission. So this is where the user will specify the CSV file. And then we're going to upload that into Claude's file system. So there's a API for that. We're going to use an HTTP node to call that Claude upload. And then this is the heart of our analysis. So this is where we also call another Cloud API that allows us to use a Cloud skill to do the data analysis and visualization engine. So we're going to spend more time on this and explain what uh, a Cloud skill is, as well as how to use it within the context of a NA10 workflow. So after the uh, processing is done here, we're going to extract the output with a uh, extraction AI agent. So all this does is takes the JSON output from the Cloud engine and it uh, extracts the uh, report from it, the, the analysis report, as well as the file that contains the visualization. And we're going to use a structured output parser node uh, to make sure that we get the right JSON format out. So the next step after that is downloading the visualization. And this takes the file from the Cloud file system and downloads that. And then we send that to our Gmail node. So now let's dive into this node in more detail. Before we do a node by node walkthrough, let me show you the infrastructure set up with Hostinger, who I'm proud to be partnering with. I chose them because their platform is specifically suited for AI automation projects like this. Let me show you their KVM2 plan. This is exactly what I'm using. For the price, you get dedicated resources and full root access. But the real game changer, by self-hosting, you can run unlimited AI agents and unlimited executions. No monthly limits, no usage caps. What I love about the setup is the one-click NA10 installation with Q mode enabled. Plus, you get free weekly backups automatically. Setting this up is super straightforward. I'll just add the KVM2 plan into the cart. And here's the best part. I've got an exclusive discount for you. Just use Derek and the coupon code and get additional 10% savings on yearly plans. Here's how easy it is to access NADN after purchase. We'll select the free malware scanner, create a root password, continue, finish setup. After a few moments, it's building your NA10 machine. Now your NA10 machine is ready. We're going to manage the VPS, go to the dashboard, and then select Manage App. And there you go. So let's walk through node by node. The first node here is a form submission node. So in here, all we add is a CSV file, a file type. And this is where we just load up our CSV data file. And then next node we have here is a HTTP node. So HTTP from here, we can select that. And then inside here, 
it's using a Anthropic API for the files. So you can go to the docs and look at the files API. You can see how to upload a file. So you can go here, copy, and then inside your HTTP node, you can go import curl and import the curl command. And it's going to give you uh, this uh, all the parameters in here. And then we uh, upload from the CSV file from what was uploaded in the uh, form submission, right? So the CSV file corresponds to this. And after you've uploaded it, uh, you now have uh, this file inside the Claude file system. Now, this node here is the one that uh, does all the heavy lifting. So uh, we're calling this node the Claude Data Analysis and Visualization Engine. And the reason why we're doing that is because um, we're going to be using a skill uh, called the CSV Data Summarizer skill. So we'll show that next. But I can show you this is also just a HTTP node, so similar to what we did before, HTTP node. And then you'll get a node here. And then we're going to import curl. And importing curl, we're going to uh, go and navigate up to the Using Skills tab. And inside here, there is an example of how to use the skill here. So we're going to select Shell, Copy. And similarly, we import curl like this. And this will give us all the parameters to, uh, all the starting parameters to call this. Now, the this uh, JSON body, this is the parameter that is uh, being passed into Claude uh, for this data engine. So we're using the Haiku 4.5 model. This is a very uh, good model that is uh, speed and um, computationally very efficient, as well as cost uh, very efficient. And what we're going to do is ask Claude here to do a data analysis of the attached file. So the attached file, we got that uh, from the upload. So we'll pass the file ID into one of the parameters here in the messages that we're passing into Claude. And then uh, we're asking it to do a data analysis and create uh, a visualization that illustrates a core insight from the data. All right, so this is uh, how uh, we're going to request Claude to use the skill. And the top here is the skill that uh, we've uploaded. So I'm going to now talk about skills and then how we uh, add that skill uh, so that Claude can use it with this ID. All right. So what are skills? So skills are simply organized folders of instructions and scripts and resources that agents can discover and load dynamically to perform better at specific tasks. So let me just give you an example of the skill that we'll be using for this project. All right. So this is an example of a skill. So this is an organized folder that contains instructions uh, for the CSV data summarizer and uh, visualization. So let's look at it at the top. So there's this, the, what they call the front matter. So this is something that quickly explains to Claude uh, what the skill is used for. So uh, analyze the CSV files, generates some uh, stats, and plots quick visualizations using Python and uh, the Pandas library. And then you have the dependencies uh, that it needs because it's going to be able to execute code uh, to generate the graphs. So then there is a uh, additional level of detail here. So you, you can have a uh, uh, level of detail that says, you know, the uh, skill analyzes CSV files, provides comprehensive summaries and statistical insights and uh, visualizations, and then when to use the skill and then how it works. So then it, it goes into uh, very much detail about exactly how to do the analysis to first load and inspect, identify the data structure, and then it goes on to try to customize the different kinds of data. So this is uh, quite quite powerful because you, you can adapt it to different kinds of domains. And then uh, generating the visualization, how to do that. And then uh, it goes on and gives uh, some behavioral guidelines. And then it also gives an ability here to uh, get into a lot of details, in particular, the file that it's included here is analyze.py. So this is a Python file that is included in this uh, skills package. So in here, uh, part of the value of the skills is that not only do you have the prompt instructions on how to do the data analysis and how to do the visualization, you also have uh, code that Claude can execute to generate the uh, visualizations and do the analysis. So this is code that is uh, shown in here in terms of how to do the analysis through the code. And then this is all packaged into one skill that Claude can execute on a file. So now that I have that skill that I want to use within my N18 workflow, what I'm going to do is navigate to the console for Anthropic. 
and I'm going to go to the skill section. So this is where I can add a new skill, a custom skill. So if I go add skill here, I can upload the folder that I just showed that has the package of the skills, the Python uh, code, as well as the requirements.txt, which is uh, the dependencies for uh, the code that uh, it wants to execute. And then once I do that, I get this uh, CSV data summarizer skill that's uh, added into Claude. And then I'm able to copy the skills identifier. All right, so I take the skills identifier and I go back to my NHN workflow. So this is the Claude data analysis node. I'm in the uh, JSON body of this HTTP node, and I'm passing into it that skill identifier. So this will allow Claude to use uh, that skill that uh, I just uploaded. So when it says do data analysis of the attached CSV file, Claude is going to know, oh, I need to use uh, this skill and load up the appropriate uh, MD file, the markdown file, as well as do the processing specified and be able to create an execution environment for the Python code to do the analysis. So uh, very, very compact and expressive and powerful way to uh, to do the analysis here. So this is this node here. So this is the heavy lifting. It, it's the data uh, engine, analysis en engine and visualization engine. So the output of this is going to be the messages uh, that, it, that Claude used while executing that skill. So uh, if you were in a console, you would say, or a chat console, you would see uh, cloud processing. So I'll help you analyze the CSV file and create a visualization. Let me start by reading the skill file and then examining the data. So that's what happens when, when you execute that node. It, it starts by doing this. And you can see how it's, it's working here. It's uh, let me uh, execute a command, use a bash file to read the skill file. So it's, it's doing that. And then uh, it is able to uh, process with more details. And then it uh, starts uh, understanding the CSV, what's inside of it and then it continues processing. And then now it's processed. And now let me create a comprehensive analysis with focus visualization. And then it's uh, now executing code in that development environment that uh, it has as part of the skill. So this code is executing the analyze.py file that was included in the skill. And it's doing that processing there. And then it has now the output. So this is the output for the analysis. And then uh, it, it also does iteration in here. Let me fix the data parsing issues. So it realizes that there's uh, some uh, changes that needs to make to the code in its uh, sandbox, and then it continues executing. And then finally, it figures out here's the analysis, and then it does uh, further execution, does more analysis, and iterates through that. And then uh, finally, it's created this energy uh, underscore analysis PNG. So this is the visualization. And then from that visualization, uh, it's created a file. And then this file here, this is the in, in Claude's uh, file system. So it's now uh, got the file system and got the file in here. And then it's also got the uh, text here of uh, the analysis. And then it finishes. So it's done all that. And now the execution or the extraction AI agent, what it does is it gets the log here, the JSON log that we went through. And what we're doing is we're extracting the final output of the log and doing the analysis so that we can extract from this JSON object uh, the execution of the uh, data analysis that it's done. And what I'm doing here is I'm connecting a structured output parser to it. So this structured output parser, what it does is that it takes the output and it uh, looks for, in, in this case, two properties, JSON properties, detail report and the file ID. So this detail report is a a report of this uh, CSV analysis, and uh, I've asked it to convert it to HTML. And the file ID is ID of the related visualization file. So this file here is uh, the one that has the visualization that Claude generated as part of the skill. So now we take this and we download the uh, visualization. So the file ID that's in the Claude system now needs to be uh, downloaded to the init to end system. So we, we take that file ID and we call the API here, and then we download that. And then from here, uh, we send the message and inside the message, we uh, have the detailed report. So this is uh, from the uh, agent from the extraction agent. So this is a detailed report. And then we attach to it the uh, data, the uh, energy analysis uh, visualization. So then we send that out. 
and then uh, we get the full report uh, in our email. Once that node executes, we get a very nice detailed report with the data analysis as well as the visualization all in one.